Under ruse! Nice job, kid. What's this? What is that pose for? Yeah, we'll talk about it later. So not long ago, I did a video on Thor Ragnarok, expressing my grievances and issues with it, but also acknowledging what it does well and why people seem to like it. And the whole video was just me overall trying to put into words and make sense of why I have a love-hate relationship with it. And so I decided to do the same thing with Captain America Civil War, because it's also a movie I'm conflicted on. I'm sure this may be surprising to hear because to many, this is actually their favorite MCU movie. Hell, it made over a billion dollars at the box office, and look at those reviews. It's one of the highest rated and best received movies in the MCU. And don't get me wrong, there are things that I do like, and it's definitely watchable, but to to me, the whole movie is just okay. There are certain things that I don't like about it, and things that could have been better. So in this video, I'm gonna go over my issues I have with it, and a typical faction, I do want to give credit where it's due, and talk about what it does right, and things that I do enjoy. And for what it is, the movie is fine. I know I'm in the minority when I say I found it underwhelming, and wasn't the biggest fan of the execution. But for what it is, and how it affected the MCU as a whole, I think it does its job pretty well. But to me personally, I didn't care for it. Now to mix this video up, I'm gonna talk about what I don't like about the movie first, and then we'll talk about the positives, because I'm more than certain that for this particular video, you were more interested in the complaints that I have. Oh yeah, just like my Thor Ragnarok video, this isn't going to be a deep dive into the plot and the story or the characters. It's literally going to be me listing off the things that I don't like about it. So I'm going to assume you've already seen the movie and know what it's about. And also, spoilers ahead. So strap in, let's get into it. You're in the wrong ends, mate. I wouldn't stress about it. <laughs> Now there are only a few issues that I actually have, and they're fairly simple. And once you hear them, you're probably gonna think I'm being petty as hell. But do me a favor and just hear me out, okay? Number one, I feel they did the Civil War storyline a bit too early. Remember, this was 2016, and this was a pretty sparse lineup. Doctor Strange wasn't introduced yet, and Thor and Hulk aren't even around. And Daredevil at this point in time only had one season, and the only other defender that was around was Jessica Jones. No Luke Cage, no Punisher, no Iron Fist. So you couldn't even bring them up to fill out the roster. Also, Fantastic Four and X-Men were still owned by Fox at this point, so there was no chance they were going to show up. Although they did get Spider-Man from Sony, so that's kind of cool. And they also introduced Black Panther here, but this was still a pretty lacking roster. And because of this, it doesn't feel as big or as epic as a conflict like this should be. I mean, really looking at it, it doesn't feel like an all-out war. It's more so just a small battle. The scale just isn't as big as a group of heroes fighting each other should feel like. Oh yeah, not to mention, we only had two previous team-up movies before this, so the team getting divided and starting to fight each other felt a little premature to me. I was hoping for the team to start fighting each other after we get more Avengers introduced, and when all the others were accounted for. I think this movie would been very different and far more interesting if characters like Hulk, Thor, Captain Marvel, and Doctor Strange were there. Yeah, so the small lineup and this storyline in general just feeling a little premature to me was the first reason why I didn't really care for it. Now the second reason is the way they handled the fighting and conflict that did occur. You see, in 2015 and 2016, that's when they really started to crank up the humor, and that's when it really started to get annoying. This was very noticeable in the previous two Avengers movies, but it's even more apparent here. Mainly in these fights that are supposed to be serious, but you have them making jokes and quips and talking to each other, and it really ruins the attention and reminds me, oh yeah, no one's really in danger. What the hell is that? Everyone's got a gimmick now. This can't seem to miss. Well, first time for everything. Multiple contusions detected. Yeah, I detected that too. You couldn't have done that earlier. I hate you. Oh, come on! Oh man, I thought it was a water truck. We haven't met yet. I'm Clint. I don't care. Okay, tiny dude is big now. He's big now. Way to go, Zig Zag! Give me back my roadie. Anybody on our side hiding any shocking and fantastic abilities they'd like to disclose, I'm open to suggestions. I don't know if you've been in a fight before, but there's usually not this much talk. Something just flew in me! You ever seen that really old movie? Uh, Empire Strikes Back? Jesus, Tony, how old is this guy? I don't know, I didn't carbon date him. He's on the young side. I really don't want to hurt you. I wouldn't stress about it. Oh. We're still friends, right? Friends, I know already hit me. Am I dead yet? It doesn't feel like anyone outside of Black Panther is actually taking this seriously. And that's a bummer because then the fights don't have any weight. They're just tossing each other around without the intent to actually hurt one another. So in turn, I'm just watching it and not really caring. I know some people will say, why not just enjoy it for what it is? I tried to, but it's presenting these two teams and it's telling me these are real stakes and should be taken seriously because each side feels strongly that they're right. But then when it gets down to it, it doesn't feel as heavy as it wants you to believe. It was really this movie where the humor really started to get on my nerves because now it's making everything seem less serious and lose impact. It's like Dizzy didn't want things to get too serious because, you know, we gotta sell it to the kids. So they interjected jokes to make sure that you know that they're not actually gonna hurt each other. Real quick, I always found this airport scene to be kind of funny because everyone is fighting somebody that they're evenly matched with. Like, imagine if Hawkeye or Black Widow got literally anybody else. Or if Vision and Wanda didn't go after each other. They would probably shred just about anybody else. 
So those are my biggest issues. For as petty and small as they may seem, that's why I never really cared for the movie. And it just really drags the movie down as a whole for me. And then there are a few smaller things. Like this was around the time when the MCU started to look a little flat. And several scenes had this grave filter added on top of them. That has stuck around to this day. With only some movies actually removing it. I think they started doing it in Age of Ultron. And it's been hanging out ever since. But the smaller issues aren't really the main concern here. It's just the two bigger ones that I named earlier. That really dragged the whole movie down for me. And makes me not enjoy it that much. Alright, time out! But while we're here, let's talk about the good shit. So there are some pretty damn great action scenes. The intro section is pretty sweet. Black Panther chasing Bucky, Bucky escaping, and the final battle between Cap and Bucky against Iron Man was pretty cool. What's even more impressive is how much of this the Russos shot practically, especially all the car chases and the cars flipping. Even the way they filmed them running past the moving cars, it's really impressive and some of the best looking stuff in the movie. And when they aren't joking and making quips to each other, the action can be pretty awesome, but I digress. But overall, it is some pretty well shot, well made action scenes. And I thought Captain America and Iron Man's reasoning and battle of ideologies was pretty neat. You get a simple and clear understanding of where they stand. Although Tony's main push for taking his stance was a bit contrived and I kind of rolled my eyes because really? This was it? The straw that broke the camel's back? Sure, whatever gets you to fight Captain America. Although I do like Zemo here. I like that he's a regular guy with a really strong grudge against superheroes for what happened to his family. And with a bunch of planning, he was able to tear them apart. So I thought it was pretty neat that a normal guy with a strong motive took down these people that are way stronger than him. And sure, at times, his plan does seem very contrived and almost like really convenient and lucky. It's almost like the Dark Knight Joker levels of planning. But honestly, I don't mind villains like that sometimes. You know, the ones that plan really far ahead. Lex Luthor and BVS was like that too. And I didn't mind it there. Oh yeah, T'Challa was pretty great here. I like that he actually has his own character arc in the movie. That mirrors Zemo's. But at the end of his journey, he learns to set aside his need for revenge. And I thought that was very nice. Throughout the whole movie, I think he was just great all around. I just really like characters who are driven and as focused as he was. Plus, he was the only one taking the whole thing seriously. So, bonus points for that. Oh, I guess I should mention Spider-Man. He was pretty cool. I didn't mind his inclusion at all. And I was hyped when I saw him. Just like everybody else was. But now that the hype is gone and looking back on it, he really didn't need to be in the movie. I mean, apparently there is a version of the movie without him in it because they weren't certain if Sony would agree to it. But his few scenes were great. And come on, it's Spider-Man, so of course I like it. That's all just not kill the end house. So similar to Thor Ragnarok, this is a movie that many people really like, but it's one that's not my favorite, and it's really just because of those few reasons. And whenever I express this, most people tell me that those reasons are pretty petty, and that the overall product is still pretty damn great, if you ignore that stuff. And to an extent, I agree. I'm impressed with how much they were able to fit into a two and a half hour runtime, as well as decently introduce Spider-Man and Black Panther. A lot of the action is pretty good, and the movie is really fast paced and doesn't lose momentum. But to me, it's just okay, and I was a little let down after I saw it. I thought I did a Civil War storyline a little bit too early, I found the overall lineup to be pretty lacking. The humor ruined a lot of tension in fights, and the overall lighthearted take on the topic and storyline, as serious as this, led to it losing some weight and me not taking it seriously. But on the flip side, I can acknowledge that, in the grand scheme of the MCU, this was a pretty important movie, and most people seem to feel that it did its job pretty well. And there's still times where I can throw it on and be decently entertained, and there are several really good moments here and there throughout, but it's not in my personal favorite MCU movie list, but I don't flat out hate the movie, and definitely think it's better than several others in the MCU. I hope I was able to explain why it was such a letdown for me, and why I have this love-hate relationship with with this movie. I actually watched it in preparation for this video to see if my feelings have changed on it and not really. I guess I have eased up on it a bit, but I'm still not crazy about it. But I can understand if someone says this is their favorite Marvel movie, and I can also understand if someone tells me that this is one of their least favorite because they found it disappointing. And I want to stress again that I know that I'm in the minority, and that unlike Thor Ragnarok, there aren't nearly as many people who dislike it as that movie. But there is a small section of the fandom that don't like it, just not to the same extent as Iron Man 3, Thor Ragnarok, or Black Panther. Which reminds me, I put out a post asking you guys, what did you think of it? And I'm Surprisingly, I found the majority really enjoyed it, and I saw others saying that it's overrated, and a few others saying that they don't like it. And so now I'm going to ask you guys, go ahead and leave a comment, let me know what do you think about Captain America Civil War. Is it overrated? Did you hate it? Was it underwhelming? Or is it a top tier Marvel film? Leave a comment, let me know. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you next time. Hey look at my awesome movie. Pretty cool. Yeah. The Dark Knight. What do you think? I played Batman in that movie. Morbius was better. Morbius was far superior.